Hey peoples, it's Titanium here and welcome back to Let's Play, or should I say, Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. In the last episode, we completed Classic Mode for the first time with Kirby here, and we unlocked Captain Falcon. But this time around, we're going to be going in there again, playing as Pikachu, which many consider to be the best character in the game. Okay, so you can't even change the time, it's 5 or infinite. I'd rather have infinite, if I may be honest. So, here again, we are fighting Link. Or Lonk, from Pennsylvania. Dead meme. It's a dead meme. So, Pikachu here, like I said, is the best character. Which, I think I played a lot of Pikachu in this game without knowing he was like, Can you, I'm trying to smash attack. Can you, alright. Poof. Wow, his forward throw nowadays it used to be his back throw. But I love his forward throw in this game, it's so good! Chain grab! Ah, oh, you suck! Chain grab is the funnest thing. Too bad they took it out and you can no longer do it. So, get out of here. So yeah, Pikachu is the best character in the game. He shares his tier spot with Kirby, who are both in the S tier. Both the best characters in the game. Uh, I forget the reasoning, because I'm not... I'm like half competitive player half for fun i don't know which one i prefer honestly because like a for glory player as i'm gonna i'm gonna call it that from now on like a competitive player how that goes is the competitive roles for smash 64 i'm pretty sure are five stocks no items on dreamland the dreamland stage because it's the Closest to the uh, illegal stage in this game because that stage doesn't really have much messing with you. I don't think the stage you're playing on right now really is bad. There really isn't like obstacles, but whatever. Um, yeah, but I liked Pikachu in this game. I love the damn forward throw. The <laughs> pretty cool. But I don't even think. Alright, because Pokemon... Yeah, okay, never mind. I kind of forget that Pokemon existed in uh, Japan since 1996, I think. Yeah. Which well, really is... Like, I never understand, like... Alright, when people say, oh, I'm a 90s kid. I, te I guess technically 90s kids are... If you grew up in the 90s, but I don't think it necessarily means you were born in the 90s. Because really, if you're a 90s kid and you were, like, born in, like, I don't know. I guess 90s kid, if you want to get the full 90s kid experience, you need to be born in the first half of the 90s. That way you can actually, you know, be a kid. Because if you're born in, like, 1999, and you're like, yeah, I'm a 90s kid. I was zero years old throughout uh, one year in the 90s. Technically... You are a 90s kid because you were born in the 90s. But it's like... You, you don't... That, that doesn't mean you experienced the, everything. I don't know. It's all about those 2000s kids anyways. Am I right, fellas? Am I right? I am the definition of a 2000s kid. I was born... The earliest of 2000... Okay, not the earliest. Of January 2000. And I experienced everything. I was born at the asymptote time. You can't wall jump in this game, alright, so... Alright. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, um... Nope. There we go. See, I know the uh, strat. This one's gonna be annoying. Come. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Alright. This is, uh, there we go. So we did it! Let's two break the targets down. And we got a perfect wow! It's not like that's the only way you can beat it or anything. But yeah. Two thousands kids are, you know, the best. Here, two thousands kid in the comments, let me get a... Two thousands kids for life, I guess. And if you're a two thousand tens kid, I don't... I don't, I don't really, can't really judge that, 
as the 2010s are almost over. It's 2018, but uh, most of them, I don't know, cause all my friends really. I don't. Yeah, obviously I don't have any friends from like. Did Link just kill himself? All right, uh, get away from. Me. Oh my God, Link, the trash. Whatever, get out of here. But, uh, yeah, obviously, I'm not friends with the kids from the damn 2000, so 2010, who at this time would be 8 years old. At least I don't think I am. Unless I'm forgetting a little kid that I, whatever. Uh, but my cousins, who I see as my brothers and sisters, shout out to y'all. They were all born into 2000, I think the latest one of them were born were my triplet cousins who were born in 2009. They were triplets, they were, they were born in 2008 or 2009. Either way, it was before 2010. Technically, I guess, that means they grew up in the 2010s, but it's like, I don't care. But that's on my mom's side, my dad's side is a different story, but uh, whatever. I'm around my mom's family more, so. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, I kind of shaped a lot of my cousins to be the way they are. I got most of them into Smash and Nintendo. Obviously, some of them are girls, and I'm not around them all the time, so I can't really be like, "Hey, put your dolls away, play a uh, Bloodborne with me, or play a uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask with me." Little female. Girl cousins, let's play Moon Crushes until the damn city. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, oh. Santa's on that. Alright. So, as you guys have probably noticed, uh. We're going through the same fights. So, we've done that team fight with Mario and Luigi, actually. Who I failed to even acknowledge his presence. In the first episode, yes, Luigi's in this game, even though you don't start with him. That's... Wow. That's how irrelevant Luigi is in Smash 64, as he is actually the worst character in the game. Because he is just a... Clo Mario, why are you taunting? Yeah, he is a clone of Mario. The sentence was accurate, but too bad I uh, got interrupted. Alright, Donkey Kong. Alright. Wow, that killed me? Shit, alright. Yeah. Luigi sucks in this game. I'm like Mario, who's like in the middle of the road, it's whatever. Alright, this board the platform is better, not like having to use Pikachu's up special quick attack. Because that move is kind of annoying to perform in this game. But the reason why Pikachu is good is I remember there's some specific technique that Pikachu himself is the best at doing. And players can exploit that, not use exploit, because that's what it is. That's what every Smash Bros. game is. It's a lot of techniques that people exploit. I highly doubt Master Sakurai himself wanted people to slide across the stage in a movement that helps you go fast. Oh, that's not the accurate definition for wave death. No, okay. But yeah, I did it. So yeah, as you can see, we're going through everything, and that's kind of you know, my complaint with the classic one here. It's always going to be the same thing. I think Brawl... I know I said Brawl has uh, the longest classic mode, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Do I like Brawl most? Because no, because Brawl is actually kind of like this now that I'm thinking about it. Where it's, uh... You, uh... You stop where <laughs> uh, commentary is so bad it's so hard to do but brawl it's always the same characters or the same franchise it's always just something different but melees is like pretty much random all the time so i don't know i don't know which classic mode i like best probably still brawls honestly which honestly all right calm calm your shit I don't hate this game. There are a lot of people, a lot of newbies nowadays who will 
be like, oh, Sound 64 is, it hasn't aged well at all. This game is trash. I disagree. Because there are a lot of things in this game that I would choose over Brawl any day. And I like Brawl. I love Brawl. We'll get into that when I play Brawl like 50 episodes from now, but... People give... They're way too harsh towards this game. At least this game still has a competitive scene. So <laughs> I'm right. People don't really play... I mean, it's not as big as Melee or Smash 4. Which begs a question. I'll ask you guys a question. I don't really like doing questions of the day, but... If you made it this far into the video without, uh... Killing yourself. I'm hearing my... Shitty voice. My stupid voice. That I have. Uh, to some of you guys. Uh... Do you think Smash 4 will still have a competitive scene after Smash Ultimate comes out? Because Brawl's the only Smash game that doesn't have a competitive scene anymore, and that's mainly because that game was never competitive friendly. But people were only really playing it because it was the new game. Uh, I just taunted right there, you do that by pressing up on the D-pad. On the GameCube controller, I don't know how it is on the... Mickey Mouse Alien 3 pronged N64 controller. But, uh, yeah. Well, climbing mode is going way faster, I have noticed. I don't know if it's because of Pikachu, but. It's whatever. Uh, I, I remember actually having problems unlocking Captain Falcon when I when I played this game. And, uh, it was like, oh, you gotta beat it fast as possible. So I was like, alright, I'm just gonna pick. Pikachu, because he's a fast character, which, that, that's not really what it's asking for specifically. So yeah, pretty much all you gotta do is get hit. Alright, yeah, this game is broken. I definitely tried to grab it there and it did nothing. Die. Die. And he kind of came back, but whatever. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Brawl. Maybe I like Brawl. Or, yeah, the competitive scene, like. Brawl was the newest game, which means the way people played it, and... I like Brawl. Okay, but some people just need to realize that... Again, I said I'm split on whether I like competitive better. I definitely play competitive more. But I also like, you know, the base game. The actual game. So, you know, maybe I want to play with items, you know. I don't know, that makes me a devil, but, uh, you know. Yeah. Whatever. I like both. And, uh, Smash at its core <laughs> is a party game. A party fighting game. It's a four player free for all game. Beat em up, where you beat the shit out of cute characters with other cute characters, sometimes Samus, I mean Samus is pretty cute. If you didn't know she was a female and you didn't know what she looked like on the outside or in the inside, I don't know. But she is, I don't know if I would classify Samus as the only female character in this game, uh, Get into that argument later, though. Let's get it. Yeah, this could take a while, bro. Took off the timer, I guess. Can you stop not curving? Die. I just love launching people in this game. It's so fun, like, poof. Gone. I don't know, it's kind of fun fighting these, uh, these, uh, polygons, I guess they're called. Because their launch rate is so high, so it's so easy to just off them. What's in this Pokeball? Coffin. I guess. But yeah, let's get back into the, like, that's something I have a problem with. I get sidetracked a lot when I talk. So I remember talking about how Pokemon has a, you know, at the time of this game, I guess in Japan, it was at least three years old, so that's fine, but I don't even think it was a year old at this point in America, which they, they timed that release pretty well, 
the whole localization. Because what if Pokemon was never localized to America? That'd be insane. Because I don't, I don't really know. Because Fire Emblem, which isn't even represented in Smash 64, that didn't come to America until after Melee. So it's like, what if these games never got localized? This is why Smash needs more Japanese exclusive characters, that way we can get them over here. That was like one of the main reasons why uh, Fire Emblem got localized, but uh, unfortunately, I feel like I'm the only one. I remember you can't air dodge. I'm like the only one who wants like the six Japanese only Fire Emblem games to come to America. I want them. I know two of them got a remake. But, uh, well, technically three of them got a remake, but, uh, Fire Emblem 3, they remade it in the era of Fire Emblem games coming to America. But, uh, they, I guess now there, I guess there's technically seven Fire Emblem games that we never got, which is really unfortunate. I know there are fan translations, which obviously is what I'm going to resort to when I play those, but... I, whatever. Let's not talk about Fire Emblem. There's no Fire Emblem in Smash 64. That will probably be the last you hear me talk about Fire Emblem until we get to the next game. But he is. Come on. Come on, man. Ooh! Kick you in the face. And he's gone. Pikachu! No! It's the game game on. Okay. <laughs> Still, uh, not okay. Did a speed king. Cheap shot. What does that mean? It's so dumb. But yeah, that's the end of Pikachu. So now let's watch the credits again. No, if you press start. You can skip them. I saw Yoshi voice actor, I saw localization, I saw whatever the last one was. Congratulations! I like how each character has their own little picture. Like Kirby's. Kirby was pretty blunt, it's just him right in the Whoop Star. Pikachu is his, uh. It's just Pokemon. I think all these Pokemon are in this game. It's kind of lazy, but I like it, it's fun. But, uh. Speaking of Pokemon! Oh boy! It's Jigglypuff! Which, I guess people like to label Jigglypuff as the joke character of the game. People, Jigglypuff gets a lot of flack, if you know what I mean. And, uh, I feel it is unwarranted, honestly, because Jigglypuff, I guess, technically, is my favorite overall smash character there's another character oh well, be beater by the way can i use the balloon pokemon jigglypuff yeah uh but you know jigglypuff gets a lot of shit but uh you know i like jigglypuff and uh we'll use this time to uh, go to characters yes hey look it's jigglypuff uh, this is the menu where you can uh, check characters and what they do, the descriptions, what games they're in. Uh, as you can see earlier from Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff appears in Pokemon for Game Boy. It's just called Pokemon. But red and blue. We have Kemper Falcon from F-Zero, and then we have Mario. So, Jigglypuff gets a lot of shit. And, uh, I will admit, if Jigglypuff wasn't in this game, Smash 64, I don't think they would have ever put her in, but, uh, and I say her, because Jigglypuff has a higher ratio of being a girl than a boy in Pokemon, and uh, Jigglypuff's kind of feminine. So why would the Jigglypuff in Smash be a guy? That's just me. I see Jigglypuff as a girl. But if you want to be really eh about it, I guess Samus here is technically the only female in the game. I count Jigglypuff, but... Regardless, you can't even see Samus' like face in this game. I don't think. I think if you beat the game, I think if you beat Classic Mode Samus, you get something. But I digress. 
Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this episode of uh, Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. In the next episode, we will be doing Classic Mode one more time. For now, I think. <laughs> and we will check out... Oh, that sleeping animation is kind of cute. Also, this is weird how they give P Pikachu, like, Pikachu, mouse Pokemon, height, a foot four. That, that's crazy, by the way. Pikachu's tiny. That's not that small. Either. Wait, 13 pounds. It's like Pokedex excerpts. But Jigglypuff has, like, a proper description. Kind of weird. Probably, like, a stylized type thing. I don't really know. But yeah, in the next episode, we will be doing classic mode. Actually, I lied. We're going to be taking a break from classic mode, actually. So, uh, yeah. Maybe we will do it. I don't know. See you guys then. Peace, peoples.